Hello everybody, well here is day 10 and today's topic, topic will be very very popular um, because you know how hard we work through these forms and I know there are still questions about it so hopefully by doing you know this little additional practice you will feel more comfortable um, dealing with those examples. So the learning target today is I can convert between point slope standard and slope intercept form. So first thing I want you to write down all three forms and on your um, actually formula sheet you will be given y equals mx plus b and it's going to tell you that this is called slope intercept form but I do want you also to make sure you're writing that M stays for the slope and B is Y intercept. Then we're moving to point slope form where is Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. Why do we call it point slope form? Because we have slope that exists here and also we have coordinates of point and we are using those coordinates of the point to substitute into the point slope form so we can do the calculations and answer the question. And third one is the standard form AX plus BY equals C. Many times you see equations in pretty much one of those two forms, slope intercept or standard form. And when you're solving problem, you need to understand what you're asked to. If person is asking you to write slope intercept form and the equation is given in this form, then you have to solve the equation for y. Or if you need to convert to point slope form, then we will do additional steps. So this is pretty much what we're going to talk today about. And let's take a look at the first example. So the first example, I have given slope and the slope is 4 over 3. So this is what it's given to me at the beginning. We have the slope and I'm going to cover this. We have given slope which is 4 over 3 and we have a point which is negative 3 and 1. So in order to write standard form we will choose to work with point slope form. The reason I'm choosing point slope form is because I know two important things. I know the slope and I also know the points that are given. So if you ha are asked to do problem like this, you have to consider what, what each formula gives you and use the maximum of that. So this will be your x1 and y1. Here is the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Once we know which formula we have to start with, then your job is to substitute each variable that you are familiar with and you know what is equal as a number. So y minus 1, because y1 is 1, equals to 4 over 3 the slope times x plus 3. Why is x plus 3? Because the slope formula has a negative sign. There is additional negative sign here and we change to plus. We already discussed that so I'm not writing super, you know, uh, completely every single step but again always remember the original form has a negative sign and the negative sign that comes with the number will give us two negatives which will change to plus. Then we apply distributive property, very, very a common one. We're using it a lot, so you are familiar with uh, distribu distributive property 4 over 3x and then 4 over 3 times 3. This could be plug again on your calculator as a 4 divided by 3 times 3 and you will get the answer as 4. Next, we move 1 to the other side of the equation and we get this. We get the first slope intercept form. This is what we have now. y equals 4 over 3 x plus 5. Now, the question for this is to write the standard form, so we need to do additional steps here to complete the question. And what will be the additional step? We want to move this x term to the left side of the equation so we can get ax plus by equals c form very well written down. So once you do that, you will get negative 4 over 3x plus y equals 5. 
remember when we have standard form negative 4 3x plus y equals 5 first term should always be positive so you got to change the sign here to the opposite which is plus you're changing this sign to the opposite which becomes negative and this is also plus and you're changing the sign to negative with that you will complete the standard form there is one more thing when we talk about standard form normally all uh, the first integer or fraction or first real number in this form should be written as an integer not as a fraction a ratio but the book doesn't cover this part so I'm gonna just leave it like that and hopefully that will be good enough for you to know next thing that we wanna review and talk about is when we have given certain examples what or how can we use this information to write this stuff into a different forms so if I have slope intercept form and I have given that information let's say this is one example and they're asking me to write it in slope intercept form the form is y equals mx plus b so I have everything what I need to in order to complete the form so y will be equal to negative 4x plus 5 and this will be my final answer next one we have point slope form which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 now when you look at this you will think oh but where is my point I don't have point how I'm going to write this and now I want you to remember that the point B could be your point because remember B is Y intercept and Y intercept is written as X is always 0 and Y will be the number that we have for B so if you rewrite B as a coordinates of point that will be your uh, point that X1 and Y1 you're gonna use to complete the form so my form here will be y minus 5 is equal to negative 4 the slope x minus 0 and that will be the end of my answer okay so what do we have here we have point slope form so point slope of a form again y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 well easy right x1 y1 we're gonna just go ahead and substitute so y minus negative 1 is equal to negative 6 x minus 7 I did on purpose I wanted to show you that the negative sign comes from the formula and the negative sign that comes from the number 1 here when we combine those they change to plus so you always need to simplify this when you have given multiple choice questions so we can get the right answer be careful with the two negative signs that could be always a problem when you're having you know list of answers and you gotta choose which one is the right one example number four another form or point slope form and the topic or the question tells you you need slope you need point in this case we have given two points we don't know the slope so step one find the slope m is y2 minus y1 equals or over x2 minus x1 the slope is also on your formula sheet you don't need to remember it just use the formula and substitute the right numbers so x1 y1 x2 y2 so will be negative 7 minus negative 1 over 6 minus negative 4 negative 7 plus 1 over 6 plus 4 will give us negative 6 over 10 which is equal so the slope will be equal to negative 3 over 5 when you when you simplify this you will get negative 3 over 5 so m is equal negative 3 over 5 now step 2 we're gonna write the slope formula and I will pick this point so that will be y plus 7 is equal to negative 3 over 5 x minus 6 and with this my example will be completed if you have any questions again we can discuss that but please make sure you pause the video go through all the steps because I'm showing you exactly what you need to do and I think uh, the video will help you with 
So, one more example here. Standard form of when we have given two points. Well, in order to get the standard form, we need to use first, so this is the standard form, but we need to use first slope intercept, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So we need m here, and I will calculate he m right here. We know x1, y1, x2, y2, so I'm going to just go ahead and substitute. will be y2 minus y1, so 7 minus negative 2, over x2, which is 5, minus 2, x1. So the slope is equal to 7 plus 2 will be 9 over 5 minus 2 is 3. 9 over 3 will give me 3. So the slope is 3 here. Now let's pick what? Maybe this is the first point and set up the equation. y minus negative 2 is equal to 3 times x minus 2. So when you're substituting into point slope form, you can always choose one of those two points, coordinates of this point, in order to substitute here and solve the problem. So those two plus change to, uh, two negatives change to plus, and we have y plus 2 is equal to, and we will apply distributive property here, 3x minus 6. Okay, we're solving the equation. I will move negative 2 to both sides, so y is equal to 3x minus 8. And there is one more step here to do, because again, we're talking about standard form, so we want to move 3x to the left, and we subtract 3x from both sides. Those two cancel, and I'm going to continue right here. We'll write negative 3x plus y equals negative 8. And I mentioned at the beginning of the video, when we talk about standard form, we want this a term to be always positive, right? So let's go ahead and change the sign to each one of those and make it positive. So this becomes positive 3x, this becomes negative y, and this becomes positive 8. That will be my final answer for this example. And this is really good example of converting um, giving two points and working through all the forms in order to get the standard form. Final thing will be slope-intercept form given in scientific notation. So the reason I choose that just because I want you to remember when you're writing the scientific notation you just put this as the x coordinate and y coordinate. So x and y here will be 0 and 2. And for the second point, we will put 3 and 1. It always goes in this order. So there is no way, you know, you can mess up with this. Left and right, left and right, x and y, x and y. Okay, so slope-intercept form will be, step 1, we need slope. So m will be equal to 1 minus 2 over 3 minus 0, which is negative 1 third. And slope-intercept. So I we can use um, point slope form. So I'm gonna pick this point and we'll write y minus one is equal to negative one third x uh, minus three. And distributive property here. So I get y minus one is equal to negative one third x, and then we have plus one. We're going to add 1 to each side, so y is equal to negative 1 third x plus 2 will be my final answer. Oops, move the, the paper. So if you're wondering how I get 1 here, that may be a question. Negative 1 third times negative 3 on the calculator will give you positive 1. Then we want to cancel this to get y itself, because slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And in order to get that, we need to get y itself on the left side, move everything to the right. So y equals negative one-third x plus two will be my final answer for this learning target. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, I hope this was a good help again. And we'll have discussion on Schoology and in class face to face. So thanks again. Have a great day.